Um, but my task is a pleasant one to thank the panel, who I think, I think you've all enjoyed it as much as I have. Uh, that's not the reason why we're here, to enjoy it. But the humanities are about enjoyment at some level. And so I'd like to thank the panel for stimulating, critiquing, and entertaining us. Um, I'd like to start by saying to Peter that um, the thought of him as an academic rap artist is quite good. Uh, and, and the 10 points for the humanities which he's raised, I think, will become a starting point for the conversation that you've uh, indicated has happened here. I'd also like to suggest that maybe uh, in Foucault's inaugural lecture terms, what we've demonstrated here today is the insurrection of subjected knowledges. I mean, all the discussions that we've actually had today were about unearthing um, issues that are fundamental to our existence, to our humanity. And the humanities articulate with that sum total. And therefore, the notion of separating science and the humanities seems not to be sensible. But since this is also a reading course, I have a reading list for you. Um, the first is Jerome Kagan's wonderful book, if you haven't read it. It's called The Three Cultures, Natural Sciences, Social Sciences, and the Humanities in the 21st Century. It's a superb critique of the old snow divide of the two cultures, and it, it embraces many of the issues that have been raised by our panel today. So th thank you, all of you, for shifting the emphasis away from the crisis and showing us that there's a great future, which was the title that the vice principal thought of as a way of taking us into a debate about the future. And I think that's critical to our discussion today. It is about the future of the humanities. And so I'd like to thank Shamil and Shireen for their uh, contributions to this dis discussion today, to the broadening of our view away from charters, to thinking about the chalk face, to thinking about the range of approaches to the humanities and social sciences that come from international comparison, the public role of the humanities, the grounded uh, uh, experiences from our continent, locatedness of the humanities, the issues around curriculum, language, expertise outside of South Africa, energizing languages, the list is, is enormous. And for the stimulation that we've ex uh, experienced today, for the framing of the conversation that Peter gave us at the beginning and Alan in his introduction, I'd like to thank all of you but I'd also like to thank the people behind the scenes. Uh, the Vice Principal, uh, Geti, thank you very much for initiating this uh, discussion, which I think you will appreciate has been hugely successful. To Les Labeskachny, my colleague in the research department. To Alan Weinberg, who we have relied enormously on to set up the event, thank you very much. And to Cynthia Nguenya, who I don't think is, I think she's busy outside. Um, and her team um, of helpers um, across the College of Graduate Studies and in the research department. Um, we really appreciate everything that's gone into this event. And uh, to our IT specialist and cameraman, thank you very much, uh, cameramen, sorry. Um, thank you very much for your participation. But without the audience, uh, we wouldn't have had an event. So thank you very much for your attendance. And as a small reward, there is catering outside. It's a good UNISA festival, um, and we always end with food. So I'm sure you'll look forward to that. And thank you very much. <laughs>